According to the Hollywood Reporter, The Lost Kingdom is already an expensive production. It was greenlit at a $205 million budget and shot during the pandemic, which was a burdensome expense on tentpole productions. Additionally, every frame of the movie involves visual effects. The reshoots have also raised the overall budget. As the first film made a killing at the box office due to its action and massive spectacle, DC wants to up the ante, particularly for the massive and water sequences in the movie. The first movie already had a lot of VFX going for it in order to showcase the majesty and grandeur of the Atlantis, the many sea creatures and its underwater battle. According to a report from Variety, Jason Momoa is being paid around $15 million for his role in Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom, which is said to be double of what he was paid for the first film. This means that his salary for the first film was around $7.5 million. Momoa originally signed on to do a sequel as part of his original deal for Aquaman, but he renegotiated his contract after the first film became a significant success. In recent Fast X, Jason Momoa, who plays villain Dante Reyes, has taken home an amount of $5 million. Aquaman and the Lost Kingdom was originally given the green light by then Warner Brothers movie boss Toby Amrich and his DC film sidekick Walter Hamada. Principal photography wrapped in January 2022 as director James Wan confirmed in an Instagram post. Of course, if Aquaman 2 decent business at the box office, Warner Brothers are unlikely to turn down the opportunity to deep their toes in the water once again. What do you say? Do let me know in the comment section and subscribe to Jimmy Radio.